All right, gonna work on the old truck again today, but uh, it's a little chilly out here. The snow is melting, but uh, let me show you what I plan on doing here. All right, we've been working on the interior. We never finished the rug because Mike is uh, doing some uh, wiring up here. So uh, here's what our uh, task is today. All right. I'm going to need a shifter boot around this thing here. And this hole doesn't look that big, but it is. it's actually a pretty big hole. You can see a little better there. I should have brought a ruler out with me, but it uh, looks to be like about at least a five or six inch hole there. And uh, the shifting boot that, that was in here was uh, kind of rough and crude and wasn't original. So uh, uh, I think maybe we'll uh, we'll try and make something. Uh, that, that looks a little better. Maybe dress up the the interior just a little bit. So let's uh, let's go inside. I'll show you what the, what was there and uh, what we plan on doing. All right, come on in. All right, here's what was in there. You know, it uh, didn't belong, and this here was was chrome and it was all rusted, and I had painted it uh, metallic. You know, plan on putting it back in, but uh, this this rubber here is all. Uh, you know, it's got holes in it and, and stuff, and it's, uh, you know, it's uh, just pretty cruddy. So, and when I put this uh, scutcheon plate on, it actually didn't even, didn't even cover the hole. So, let's, uh, it's tough working with one hand here. I'm a one-man operation. It's tough. Tough to deal with. So, that was actually five and a quarter inches and I think there was a space on each side here so we're gonna have to find something a little bigger than that or maybe five inches and uh, just a bigger outer skirt you know so it covers the hole but let me show you what my plan is I was I planned on making a around the scutcheon plate and uh, making like a, a cloth cloth boot like in uh, like in race cars. I got one here in a coupe. Let's see if we can get in. Alright. You know, it doesn't look all that pretty, but uh, you know, it's a whole lot nicer than uh, than what was there. So, uh, I think we'll go with that. Huh, just realized that. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think maybe we'll try and make something like that. So, uh, Let's go see if we can take some measurements and uh, get as close as we can. Alright. I'm taking a measurement here, trying to take a measurement, and I'll show you what I'm dealing with here. I got a, I got a big hole here, but uh, there's a big shift right in the middle of it. And uh, I can only guess what it is, you know. And uh, it looks, looks like uh, five, five and a half, but I want to try and get that hole exact so I, I know what I'm dealing with and make make that my uh, inner circle I'm not even sure this is this is uh, completely round but uh, let me show you what I'm gonna do if they actually wanna since I'm, I'm not gonna set up a tripod just for this but uh, I'll do it and then show you what I did all right hold on all right what I did was uh, I took a uh, a big it looks like about a 30 30 inch uh, alligator clip here and I just uh, put it around the middle there and then connected it to itself and now I'm just going to take it out there and and see how big that is and that'll give us it'll give us a, a pretty good idea of uh, the size hole we need you know I, I may be off a sixteenth or so but uh, you know that's that's what you're dealing with here alright so here we are I, I took it off and uh, looks like we'll be dealing with roughly uh, the inside hole should be should be roughly around five and a quarter and that's that's what we guessed when we had the, the piece of sheet metal out there, so. All right, let's go in here and uh, make an escutcheon, and then uh, we'll make uh, the rag boot. All right, we'll see you inside. I found a piece of uh, PVC uh, pipe connector inside the garage there, and this is, from one end to the other, is five inches, and I, I stuck it in a hole here, and it just about fits, so uh, I think we're, we're good with that measurement. So, uh, I'm happy with that. I'm glad I found that, you know, because that's, you know, this, this is just a rough 
guesstimate, but uh, that there is pretty much. So uh, we'll go with the inside diameter of uh, five, five and a quarter, something like that. All right, let's go inside. It's cold out here. All right. Yeah, I found some uh, scrap aluminium here, and uh, I thought it was eighth inch, but it's uh, three thirty seconds, which is fine. You know, I mean that's that's strong enough, and for what it does, that's that's going to be plenty. And uh, I found this piece, and I thought, all right. But then I look at it, says I don't think it's going to be uh, big enough, because I would like to leave uh, maybe three quarters of an inch around there, you know, to screw down and and hold the material. So that piece of scrap ain't going to work. But I, I did find this one. I don't even know where I got it, but uh, this way you keep this kind of stuff around, and. Uh, I should be able to get a nice piece out right here. I'll cut the center out and uh, make a little uh, mark three three quarters of an inch around there and uh, we'll cut that out. All right. Yeah, we got that. I was a little tougher than it should have been, but uh, that was my fault. I was working against myself. I was working on a rubber mat, which was uh, absorbing a little bit of shock, and then uh, my uh, my blade wasn't wasn't all that sharp, so I uh, changed the blade and started sawing on some hard surface, and uh, it worked out pretty good. So the outside here, I can get with the bandsaw and. Uh, this should be a lot better, a lot easier. All right, let me set you up. We'll go over there. All right, we got you stuck to the wall there, so uh, let's see how this goes. I don't, I don't think it'd be vibrating, but uh, let's give it a try. Surprised it made that turn. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut off the edge here and then uh, start again. I'm going to continue on and cut this off and then uh, I'll turn you back on when I'm done, right? No sense in wasting your time watching this. Alright. Yeah, it came out pretty good. Let's, uh, let's go over to the, uh, the sander there and uh, clean up the outside edge a little bit. Alright. Yeah, let's try this. You guys got your headphones on because uh, this might get a little loud. This, uh, this is uh, pretty dull. So we'll see.
Yeah, I had a rough edge on the back here, and it was uh, catching the, the, the edge of the machine here, so I really couldn't get a, a nice smooth sweep out of it. I mean, I did a decent job, but uh, let's see if we can touch that up and get a nice, nice smooth radius to it. Put your hearing protection on. Put mine on. Yeah, that's much better. That's just a guide. That uh, that black line is just a guide. You know, you just want to you want to get a, a smooth smooth transition there, and I think we did it. I think the the inside I'm, I might have to do with a file. So uh, let's go play with that a little bit. All right, it's gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna uh, take a half round file here and. Uh, Make this uh, round. It's actually coming out pretty nice. Oh, you know, I didn't, even, I didn't even look to see if you guys are in frame. Sorry about that. How's that? It's actually uh, rounding out pretty nice. Got a nice fine one here. Get the marks out of there. Yep, buddy. A little rough spot there. You know, even though this ain't gonna look perfect right now, when you put it in that truck, it's gotta get bent down over that hump. And there's gonna be carpet around it, and inside is gonna be a you know, uh, fabric and stuff, so, yeah, and then you're gonna have screws, and this is gonna be shining, so, you know, even though, even though this isn't a perfect circle, it's, uh, it's gonna look good. And it's gonna be down by your feet anyway, right? So, uh, what are you worried about? All right. Just about there, so, uh, let me, uh, dick around with this for a little bit, and then, uh, We'll turn these on. You know what? I think I might throw you, go bring you in the house and put you, put you on charge because uh, you guys are almost dead. So uh, we'll see you uh, after I, I clean this up and I'm going to sand this down and get rid of this paint and this oxidation. And then we'll, uh, we'll polish this up a little bit. So, all right, let me go put you on charge and uh, we'll see you in about an hour. All right, we're back. Been a little longer than an hour though. It's, uh, been about a week and a half, you know, uh, we've had a lot of snow, ice, and cold, and rain, and uh, and then some days I just didn't feel like doing anything, so, uh, alright, we're back on this, and uh, I didn't even polish this up yet, I did uh, put uh, holes in it, six holes, and uh, spent the morning uh, making the boot, and that's what we got here, and uh, Spent, spent about uh, three hours doing arts and crafts and uh, we made uh, three of these and uh, I tried to decide which one I wanted and I think I did I actually had to make a template here you know of the circle right I wanted the boot to be about eight inches high and uh, I figured we'd get uh, four of these and sew them together there might be other ways of doing this, but uh, like I said, I made four prototypes, and uh, we made them and, and see how they like it. And this is what I came up with, right? And we got this one here, which uh, to me looks uh, a little too big and gaudy. This would this would have been like the crumpled look, you know, like that. But I, I think it'd be uh, be too big for the truck. And then I got this 
this middle one here and this would have this would have made the fabric just fit the the inside of the, the ring perfect and that would have been about maybe nine inches high or something you know the shifter the shifter bends a little bit but uh, I think even that might have been too big so what I did what I just I think I decided to to go with is this this one here it's about eight inches and uh, it fits inside the circle but it's it's sort of thinner than the circle is you know so you're gonna see some material down around the bottom and I think I think that's what's uh, what's gonna look best for me like I say the shift is gonna sit in there it's gonna be bent a little bit and a little crumbled so it'll uh, look okay so when I sew this together, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can get a French seam in there or not, but uh, we might try. You know, just uh, just for decoration. Also, I, I don't know. I was. I think I was going to go with turquoise for the boot, but you got to see this turquoise and a lot of a lot of turquoise down around there. So I might go with white with uh, a turquoise stitch. And uh, another reason I'm going with white is because uh, I don't think I have enough turquoise left. You know, I think I used it all up. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We'll go. Uh, we'll go white and see what it looks like. But before I make it and and cut this open and uh, make a, a a boot out of it, we're gonna take it out and uh, try it on for size. So uh, let's do that. All right. We'll see you out by the truck. All right. Yeah, it's not too bad out here today. It's uh, it's gonna go up to fifty. It's not there yet, but uh, it's not bad. So uh, let's see what we got, got here. All right, I'm dealing with one hand here, so let's see what it looks like. All right, now this is the the bigger one, the eight-inch one. So oh, that didn't work out. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So that'll sort of give you an idea, give you the, you know, the bigger baggy crumpled look, even though it's, like I said, I'm, I, I'm only dealing with one hand here, so. Alright, let me put the other one on. Sorry about the wacky camera work, but uh, that's what we're dealing with here, right? I got nobody to help me. You guys just sit there and watch. All right, so uh, all right, that's, I think that's what I'm going with because I, I sort of like the the thinner look of this, and this is gonna it's gonna be tight up top here, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. All right, let's uh, let's go and get some fabric and make a make a pattern and uh, sew it up. All right. It's been uh, another couple days, and uh, I polished this up, polished up the aluminum, and I, I sprayed it with uh, clear, and uh, that looks okay. And uh, we made the boot, sewed it, and I was able to put my uh, French stitch in there and stuff, and that, that came out looking good, so a uh, French seam. So uh, I, glued it to, I glued it to the piece of uh, aluminum there, and uh, I used this stuff. You guys know I use this a lot. I love it. Works good. So, uh, alright, let's see what it looks like. Oh, there we go. Some of my clamps. I had to do this in two, two stages because it's, it, it sort of pulled on itself, you know. You had to stretch this material. So, you got a little glue on there. We'll clean that up. Oh, you know, that goes too far anyway. So, alright, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty good. It's held in there nice. So glued in there nice and tight, so uh Alright, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and uh drill some holes through this uh fabric here. I guess just poke some holes through there. Alright, so we'll see you outside and we'll try it on for size and then uh screw it into place because it's gonna have to bend this uh aluminium plate there. To 
to shape the the, the, the floor or the, the tunnel. All right, see you out there. All right, yeah, we glued the carpet down around there so it's a little smoother and uh, trimmed it up a little bit. And we got our little uh, boot here, so let's uh, see how we do here. There we go. I want my decorative stitch to the back here so you can see that. There we go. Looks like it's going to fit pretty good. Alright, let me go get some screws and uh, put that in there and we'll see how it looks. I don't know how. I might have to get a right angle screw gun here, huh? I'm not gonna be able to fit a screw gun there. All right, let me go get some screws. And we got us, uh, look like some uh, three quarter by tens. All right, let me, uh, let me see if I can get a a screw gun or a, a drill gun that's uh, a right angle. All right, I'll be back. All right, I guess we're just about done for the day. Sun, sun's uh, setting there down over the mountain. You know, mountains in New Jersey, Road King. Alright. Yeah, here's one of the tools that uh, you don't use much. You know, a right angle drill. But uh, that's the only thing I would have been able to get in between there. Alright, I glued the rug down here. I didn't glue it down here. Because it still has to come down so I can work on some, some wires there. So that wrinkle, don't worry about that wrinkle. We'll get rid of that. But this is all glued down. And the boot's on, screwed in. And uh, it's looking good. And we got the the piston shifter on there. That's looking good too. Piston knob. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this on here for shows. And you're probably wondering why. And I know if I leave that on there, and some thugs come past and and like that more than me, they're gonna bust the window and uh, take that. So, you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna put stuff on there that encourages people to to break into your your equipment here so all right oh well, you know what I uh, I screwed this threshold in and uh, it's looking pretty good so yeah you were pretty much done the interior I think I'm gonna put the glove box on the ashtray in and I don't know about the radio you know because I don't think Mike has to come over here to do anything so all right what do you guys say you want to call it a day all right enough for this I'm loving that. I don't know if you guys can see that decorative thread. It looks pretty good. French seam would call that. Alright. My arms my arms starting to hurt and pat myself on the back, so uh, what do you guys say? Enough of this? Alright. See you in the next one.